Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together this little site here with various little sections. And it's a question that comes up all the time. How do I make a one page scrolling site? Or how do I create a menu to turn my page into a one page scrolling site? So that's what we're going to do today. At the moment, the, the menu up there is this default, whatever pages I've actually created, it's just thrown them up there. So we're going to create a menu that's going to take us to these various sections. First thing we have to do is give these sections an ID so we can tell the menu where to scroll to. So if we've got Elementor enabled, I've already got it enabled on this page. We need to go into each section. I won't bother with the top, but I'll go to About. I'm going to go into the section. And on the advanced tab here, you're going to see CSS ID under the padding and margin. We want the ID, not the classes. And you want to give each one a unique ID. It has to be different from any other ID that you've given any other section. That's really important. So I'm going to just call this one about for simplicity. I'm going to go down to the next one. Click on the little blue tab for the section advanced CSS ID this will be gallery go on down blog advanced ID blog go on down some more portfolio I'm sure you get the picture we've only got one more to do advanced CSS ID portfolio And last but not least, contact. Advanced ID contact. Like I say, you can call these anything you want, uh, just as long as they're unique and as long as you can remember them for the next step. So I'm going to update that. Now we've given them all IDs, we can create a menu and tell the menu to scroll to these various places when we click on them. So let's go to our dashboard, go down to appearance, go down to menus. Once we're in the menus, we want to go to create a new menu. Click on that. I'll call the menu one page. Hit the little create menu blue button on the right hand side. Now then, instead of adding pages, which is this top one, we can close that one up. We're going to use custom links, and this is really important. You've got to use custom links for this. So the URL, first one is our ID. We need to put in our ID. The first one was about. And before you put in your ID, you have to put in a hashtag. So it's a hashtag with all of these. It's hashtag and then ID name, which was about and what you want the link text to say. Add to menu. Can't remember what the next one, I think it was gallery, about gallery, blog, portfolio, contact, okay. So the next one's hashtag, ID, gallery. And again, hashtag for the next one, portfolio. And if you get these names wrong, it won't work. And blog, hashtag. And I think the last one was contact us. Hashtag contact. Name contact us. And again, you can put any name in you want to appear on the menu. Obviously, it's a good idea to put in a name that's going to mean something. And if we want to, we can add a home page as well to get it back up to the top. 
So let's do that. I'm going to just put a hashtag in there. And when they click on that, a hashtag will just take them to the top of the page. That's fine. So I'll call this home. And I'll add it. And I want it to be first. And to move these around, all you do is left click and hold and move them to the place that you want to want them to go. If you want to create sub items, just pull them to the right a little bit. It'll become a sub menu. And you can do a sub sub by the same way, just drag it right. But I want that to be a regular menu item. So now I'm going to save my menu. Once saved, we need to assign the menu to this page or to this, this basically the website. So we need to go to our customizer, appearance, customize. Once it's loaded, we want to go down to menus, view all locations, and the main menu. This is our main menu. Select the one we've just created, which was called One Page. There it is Home, About Us, Gallery, Portfolio, Blog, Contact Us. So let's just publish that. Actually, before that, this is not the page. I'll, I'll switch to the page that we we're working on for the front page which I believe was gallery so let's go back we want to go down to WordPress default the home page settings your home page settings may be on the first page with a lot of WordPress themes it is a static page and I'm going to change this to just gallery I think was the name of the page there we go and then we got that slider and bit of lorem ipsum for about us now I'm going to publish this now if we go back and view the site we want to visit the site I spelt home wrong see about us it's going to take us there gallery fantastic portfolio brilliant and last of all contact us there we go that is how to make your page into a one page scrolling website so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful you can then download both the pro and the free version of elementor from my affiliate link below this site once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day